What is up guys? We are back on American Farming and the goal for this video is to start a dairy farm with two million dollars. As the old saying goes, in order to make a million dollars farming, you first gotta start with two million. So that's the plan. If you look up in the left hand corner, I've got less than a million dollars cash right now and that's because I've spent a million dollars on equipment, land, and purchasing this giant dairy farm. So we've got a million dollars left to spend before we run out of money. Now legends have told me that dairy farming is the most profitable in American farming. The way to make the most money is dairy farming. We're going to find out if that's true or not. But to give you guys a tour of the farmstead, here's the house. It's a two-story house. It's got five different bedrooms. Perfect house to raise a family on a nice old dairy farm. Got the dog kennel here, which perfectly matches the machine shed. Check this out. You know, you got the machine shed colors, dog kennel, and then you got your machine shed right there. Works perfect. Now, if you zoom in on the map, I currently bought one field next to this farm, this farm, field 35, for $111,000. And then I bought the farmstead for $250,000. So we do only own one field and the farmstead. That's it right now. Now to give you guys a full tour, we got the corn crib here. We have two blue silos, which is gonna be storing our cattle feed. We got one silo here, although I don't think it does anything. And then we have some cold storage over here. Now to start off with, I already bought a 3231 manure spreader. This should work good. And then we bought a Meyer feed wagon, F. 470. And then over here, we got the dairy heifer pen. And then over here, we got the calf huts. So the calf huts, we're going to buy the calves. They're going to grow up, or actually, we're going to produce calves based off of the dairy cows. They're going to breed calves. They'll be in here, and then we'll put them over in the heifer pen. And then eventually, the heifers, once they grow up, they'll go in the dairy pen and produce milk for us. Now, over here's the dairy pen where all the dairy cows are going to be sitting out. They got a pasture, and then there's even a pond down there. This is Rex. This is the farm dog. If you guys visit the dairy farm and you're not allowed here, he's probably going to give you a hard time. He's pretty aggressive, but he's nice and sweet to me. So that's all that matters. Over here, once we get enough milk, the milk gets stored in these tanks here, which I'll need a semi tanker to haul this out. And then this is going to be our profits. It's whatever milk we have left. We should be able to make some pretty good money. We'll probably wait to sell it come October because that's when the prices are the highest. And for our grain storage, we got three different grain bins. Also comes with a Neralta unloading auger, which should work pretty darn good one grain bin holds 10,000 bushels other one holds 10,000 and then the other third grain bin holds 5,000 bushels so I'm assuming looks like there's a smaller grain bin in the back there that would be the 5,000 bushel bin should work good if we want to throw corn in one wheat in one and beans in the other that'll work good but you can't throw like corn and beans in one grain bin obviously we try and stay realistic and then all these grain bins have bin dryer fans on them so right here and then we walk up to the flame and then that's how we'll be able to dry our corn down if we need to and we'll be good to go Okay, now equipment time. I already bought some equipment. It's at the dealership and some equipment is at the farm here. I'll run you guys through what we got. So first off, I actually have two pickup trucks. We got one here, the older pickup truck, which works pretty good. It's on the livestock trailer, which maybe I'll get a semi. I'm not sure. I'd like to get a semi with livestock trailer. Instead of having the gooseneck, we could just haul more cows with it, which would work pretty good. And then we got the International 1066 with the 955 12-row planner. We'll maybe upgrade this. I'm not sure, but for now, I think we'll start with the 12-row planner. And then we got the 1206 International with the chopper and and then the Meyer forage box. I may be purchasing another Meyer forage box just so we can keep switching them out as fast as possible. One thing this game really needs, I'm gonna admit it, as part designer, oh, we need a self-propelled forage harvester so badly. We know, we know, we know, we're working on it. Now, since I did start a new save game, I had to start at one of the starter farms. So technically we do own this cattle starter farm, which did come with a farm all M and I have a disc back there. I may sell the disc or keep it, I'm not sure yet, but we have these round bales too. So I'm actually gonna load these up on a flatbed gooseneck trailer, haul them over to the dairy farm and use them for a starting feed. And then you guys are wondering, Grant, a million dollars? You didn't show us a million dollars worth of stuff. Well, that's because that was only like half a million dollars worth of stuff between all that. Here's the other half a million dollars of stuff I purchased. So we got the newer pickup truck. We got the Max D gooseneck trailer, which is a 40 foot gooseneck trailer. And then here's what I decided to go with. I went with a Case Magnum 380. It's got front duels on it, rear duels. It's got rear weights on it. It, and this is going to be enough horsepower to pull our anhydrous bar and hydrous tank. And if we want to upgrade like to a bigger planner, I can pull it with that too. So this should work pretty good. I'm hoping this should be like our main horse tractor. Eventually we may have to get like a bigger quad track or something like that. But for now I'm trying to stay within our budget. 
And then here we go. This is probably one of my favorite tractors, the MX230. It's not a 285. It doesn't have a crazy amount of horsepower, but it's going to be able to pull the chopper. It's going to be able to do a lot of like random tasks. Heck, we could run the planter with it, run wagons, all sorts of stuff with it. So that is the plan right now. I haven't bought any like combine yet, but I do plan on buying like a combine and some wagons and stuff like that also. Okay, first things first, we're going to take the anhydrous bar and anhydrous tank, get it hooked up so we can first start growing corn for feed. We will also be using hay bales for feed, but currently right now in the game there, you can't actually like cut hay, mow hay, rake hay, and have hay bales that way. You have to purchase them. Can't give away anything, but that is something developers know needs to be in the game. So we'll load up NH3 and Hydrus for 121 cents, sorry, $1.21 per gallon. You guys can probably tell my voice, but I am sick. I had a horrible cold this weekend, but we're getting better now. So we're good, but I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. Grant is a horrible singer and shouldn't be doing this, but the editor's probably gonna put this clip in the video. Oh boys, there was the big cattle farm up there. That's where I have another save game, which I do love that place, but we're gonna do some dairy farming. And we got the Kedrick farm sign. Oh, oh shoot. I'm sorry, Jeremy. I didn't see where I was going. My bad, my bad. First things first, we're gonna get the anhydrous toolbar unfolded and then start applying on this ground. We do also need to get P and K down. We need our dry fertilizer spreader, which I don't think we own one right now. So we're gonna have to do that. Probably just run the MX230 on that dry fertilizer spreader that should be a good good unit to pull it it might be a little overkill but it should work pretty darn good so we're applying some anhydrous right now call it 150 pounds of n which should be good enough for corn the corn crop here and we'll be good to go now as you guys can see i don't have the big toolbar here it's because the 380 doesn't have enough horse to pull the giant 62 foot like we would need a big quad track to be able to pull that but for this toolbar it works pretty good we need some tunes in this tractor man we need something also, if you guys want to take a really cool Instagram picture of the setup, check this out. Go over here, and there's actually a snapshot mode. So go over here, and then boom, all your UI is gone. You can take an awesome screenshot, upload it to Instagram story, do, do whatever you want, really. See the top left corner? You press that little camera button, and it brings the HUD back. Pretty cool. You got to let the chicks know you're putting on gas. Of course, man. Nobody puts on anhydrous without telling everybody on social media, man. Come on now. We are rolling. First headland pass done. Plan is I'm going to do a second headland pass, and then let AI take over. Also, highly recommend if you're not playing with the controller definitely play with the controller it's so much easier control okay headland passes are complete now i'm going to start the ai worker on rows i'm going to start it with a lot of overlap and we'll start ai worker farm hand on rows only let him do his thing there he goes let me check my equipment see if we started with a dry fertilizer spreader i'm not sure if we did no we did not it's because we had that manure spreader that's why i think i'm still gonna purchase a dry fertilizer spreader just because we won't have many cows right away and i don't know if we're gonna have enough manure to cover our p and k that we need across our fields so i am gonna buy just a small dry fertilizer spreader and we're just gonna be spreading p and k with this there we go and then we'll probably run that on the mx230 here and we'll toss some p and k in here in case you guys don't know like if you need seed fertilizer this is the place you go to so we'll throw p and k in in here purchase that and might as well fill it all the way full and checking in on AI worker he's doing good he's actually going the correct way we want him to go so he's rolling on an address for now we got to wait for the AI worker to get done with an hydrus but for now I'm just gonna park the tractor up here because I want to get some dairy cows bought and I need to move some hay that's the plan for now we'll just park it on this cement parking lot in front of the shed should be good we'll take the pickup truck and I'm gonna head on down to the cattle starter farm where we got caught 10 or 12 hay bales and we got the farm all lamb and we'll get them loaded up on the trailer this will be our first cattle feed Ah, the suspension. Look at that. Gosh, I love that. It's little things like that. They get underappreciated, but I still love them. We'll park the truck right there. Fire up the farm all lamb, which is probably a tractor we're going to always keep around on the farm. It's cheap horsepower. It's a cheap loader tractor, and it always starts. It's reliable as heck. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Back her up. If you don't know what button I'm pressing, you have to press in on the right joystick. Press in on it, and then move it, and that 
that's how you move the loader. It works pretty slick. And then as soon as you get the hay bale close to the trailer, boom, goes on there. Works pretty nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit all these hay bales on here even. Grab the next one. I should have probably parked that trailer a little closer, but this should work good. Something about using a loader, stacking bales, stuff like that, it's pretty darn fun. Honestly though, for having to use controller to like control a loader tractor, move it in back and forth and stuff like that, it actually works pretty good. And I've only moved like 10 bales with controller so far. I'm surprised. Okay, I don't think we can fit any more bales on here. It would be nice if we could fit these last two bales on, but I don't think it's going to happen. But come on, come on, get lucky. Yes, we got lucky. I don't know how the heck they fit on there, but perfect. Last one going on. Oh, kind of rammed it a little hard there. First things first, we got to move this farm OM all the way over 17 mile an hour, about a mile to go. Shouldn't take us too long. Check this out. If you're really skilled with a farm OM, you can get her on two wheels, but you can't tip her. And there we go. The AI workers are finishing with an hydrus right there. He's got a couple more slivers to do and he should be done. Okay. We should be good right there. Now it would be super nice to go buy some dairy cows. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go buy some dairy cows quick. We got feed on its way. Why not get a couple ready to go? Start producing some milk. I think he's on his last pass right there. He should be done. Got to stay on the road. Keep the eyes on the road, Grant. Yep. Bobby is stopping. Nice job, Bobby. Okay, here we are. Livestock auction yard. You buy dairy cows directly. So we can fit eight in here. We'll purchase eight of them for a little under $14,000. One thing is this. This map is so gigantic. For a mobile game, it is insane. You know, that's, that, that was our goal with building this, is make it realistic, make you have big fields so you can run big equipment. Okay, and Hydrus is done. We'll hop in here, fold her up, and you can probably just go park her in the shed for now. Okay, the shed's actually getting crowded. For now, I'm gonna park her outside. We'll grab our bale trailer. We got 12 bales on here, which is actually a lot of weight for this pickup. Luckily, it's a diesel, so it should be able to pull her pretty well. Oh yeah, easily she's got it. We're doing 50 mile an hour, and we are loaded down. Okay, first things first, we must have been doing some heavy towing. I need to put fuel in this truck. Okay, right there. We'll throw some fuel in the pickup truck and we're full we have like so much different stuff going on right now like i'm trying to keep track of everything first things first grant get the dairy cows in the pen because they've been sitting in this trailer for a while let's get them in the pen then i gotta do some more field work and then we gotta get those bales unloaded back them up close to the gate and then we should get the unload signal there we go and we'll unload them all in here they currently don't have any feed though next step we got p and k to spread across this field and then it'll be ready for corn plant on this one i'm just gonna let the AI worker do his thing i'm not even gonna do the headlands we're just gonna let the ai worker go to town over here see if you can make that turn perfect oh yeah okay we'll let george do his thing i am curious how much feed value these bales are gonna have and i gotta think do i go through the gate why don't i just pull this trailer inside the pasture and unload it from there instead of having to drive through the gate every single time it's such a long trailer that i gotta make sure i gotta come in straight to the gate there we go come on if we had a dually we probably wouldn't have been able to fit almost perfect i do wonder if the cows are gonna start walking through my trailer though they might that should be good let's hop in the farm all m what are you guys doing there's not even any feed in there are you waiting they must be waiting. There we go. And we'll just get close and then it'll take it as feed. And eventually you'll start seeing it filling up a little more there. There we go. Lift it up and dump her in here. Heck, we might be full pretty darn soon actually with these bales. Okay, so I put three different bales in. Let's see how much feed we got. Oh boy, we have like nothing for feed. Oh my gosh. It's not even a sliver on there. Wow. Oh gosh. What'd we do this time, man? What did we do this time? I can't lift it. There we go. The cow is trying to get through. It's trying to push through the trailer and then like the end of the tailgate of the truck right now. Oh my gosh. I probably need to move my truck. It's literally trying to get through that gap right now. We're going to flip around our truck just so the bales are a little easier to grab off the trailer now. And hopefully the cow moves out of its way. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no, man. Okay, there we go. I was like, oh gosh, man. I'm going to hopefully that cow. Yeah, gosh, darn it. Bad things going to happen there. We'll park right there, get in the farm while I'm and unload the rest of the bales. Okay, perfect. We got all the bales unloaded. So we're gonna get the truck over here. I don't know if we're gonna need this gooseneck trailer for a while. So for now, I'll probably just park the trailer right alongside the shed over here by kind of, kind of by the fuel tanks. There we go. 
Well, guys, I think the sun's told us it's time to go to bed. It's dark out. We still got the hired hand out spreading, so he's doing good. We got hay moved. We got cattle. We got all the equipment moved. We just need to, next episode, get started planting and probably purchase some more fields and some more equipment. So let me know what you guys want to see on this episode, what equipment you guys want to see, because I still do have $966,000 left. I want to save that for more cattle, more fields, and like I said, probably more equipment. Let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comment section. And hey, I will see you guys in the next one. If you're interested in this game, definitely check it out. I've got a link to the App Store and Google Play Store down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.